Hello, it's Dan again, and today I'm coming to you from the beautiful Upper Peninsula of Michigan with a long overdue short video about a model that I made uh, probably a year or two ago uh, to allow use of inexpensive SSD storage with the Ninja 5, as opposed to the bulky caddies that you can usually use with cheap storage or, uh, you know, the much more expensive purpose-built SSDs that some manufacturers sell. So, um, at the time, I and this uh, SanDisk Ultra 3D 500 gigabyte SSD was the cheapest storage which had every box checked. Uh, since then, the uh, Ninja 5 Plus has come out with 120 frames a second, and this doesn't check every single box on the compatibility list for that. Um, maybe I'll look at some point if I have a reason to care, find a different SSD to, you know, shuck for that. And then these are the model parts. Uh, they're right now available on Thingiverse. Uh, by the time I upload this, I'll also try to make sure they're on Prusa printers because I like Prusa printers more. And uh, that's about it. You know, uh, caveat, this will void the warranty on your SSD, but, you know, the SSD is only 60 bucks, so, you know, take that as you will. All right, so the first thing to do is to take the SSD out of the box. This is my first trying this setup with recording from above using my Insta360. Hopefully it's not awful. Uh, we'll see. Let's see, grab this screwdriver. And this bit looks nice. Just that one. Let's go ahead and cut through that plastic. Across the side. So there are four discs total that, or uh, four screws total that hold the uh, enclosure here together. Uh, they're all, if I remember right, underneath this uh, label. So just go ahead and unscrew that. Unscrew that. Unscrew that. Where is that fourth screw? There's that last little, little bugger. It's been a little while since I did this. So you pop out all those screws, and this is what you end up with. This is the SSD. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew that from this case. And this SSD should fit basically perfectly right in here. Just to think I did that way. So that should be it. Yep, and all the screw holes line up. They only actually provide two screws. That's all I've ever used. That should be plenty. Uh, one thing that I like to do when I put in these screws, so when you make the 3D print the model, the screw holes are small enough that... The screw holes also are small enough that the screw should just bite in on its own. I like to throw on a little bit of you know, super glue or Loctite to help ensure that it sticks just a little better. Which is fussy, you know, <laughs> when I'm away from home at a campsite with no, uh, 
you know, with, with uh, only minimal tools, but we'll make it work. There we go. So that should be pretty well in there. And then the final part of the assembly is to uh, glue the edges of this so that it'll stick down pretty well. Doesn't need to be a ton, as always with super glue. Uh, in fact, using too much can actually be deleterious. So I usually do that, and then it's going to fit right inside there. So. Uh, the vent holes should go over the SSD to help make sure that it doesn't overheat since it no longer has the uh, case to act as a heat sink. Give that just a few seconds to set up. And that's it, basically. Now we should have a working SSD. So should be able to just slide this right into the Ninja 5. Perfect fit. Now if we come up here, we should be able to go into media. And there you can see media is detected. Detects the name of the SSD and all that. We'll format the drive. And that's that. 500 gigabyte capacity. Uh, we're not seeing any you know, time remaining up here just because uh, I haven't actually plugged in the uh, a camera to this, so you won't actually see anything there. But you know, SSD is detected, there's the capacity, and I have yet to have these overheat or anything like that on me. So, yeah, that is that. So, there we go. There's a tiny little SSD that fits perfectly in the Ninja 5. Uh, once again, this will void your warranty, so use with caution. Uh, I'll put links to the SSD and the downloadable 3D printing parts in the description below. Have a great day.